Okay. So, do we have... Audio visuals? Not sure, because I'm getting no uh, notifications. There's no problem here. Well, things seem to be going okay. Maybe Twitch just uh, changed some stuff. Time to turn on the stream. Hey, me wagon. Uh, hey, everybody. Just let me know as soon as you can actually see and hear me. And we can begin. Uh, so. Hope everybody... Hey, DBK! Hey, everybody. Okay, so now I know. So, hi, everybody. Glad you guys could join me. Uh, so glad you could, uh, you could join me today on this very special day. Remember, this is the day that the U.S., the United States of America, officially jumped the shark. Remember that you were right here watching this stream of Phoenix Wright, uh, in about, in a couple of years, when you are uh, crawling across the nuclear wasteland, thinking where it, where it all went wrong, right here, right here, right now. Uh, the day we choose to kill, yeah, pretty much. Well, it doesn't matter. It's can it's Kang and Kodos, you know. Hey, chairs, good to see you, man. Uh, Anomaly 2016, of course. Uh, so uh, that's it. I, I hope everybody did vote for today. On a serious note, I hope you guys voted. I hope you made uh, your educated votes and did not just follow a trend. And I hope that you guys voted for more than just uh, the presidency, because there are a lot of other. Uh, I don't know the uh, American politics precisely, but there are plenty of other offices who can affect your lives and can change uh, the country and, or your state or your, even uh, your hometown. And you can even vote on some laws depending on your state. Rip America, uh, perhaps. No, I think people are just making it too much, too, too big of a deal. It's going to be okay either way. People are just going to get used to it. Anyhow, but enough about that. Who cares about politics? Uh, we are here in, uh, oddly, come to think of it, it's oddly similar. A country torn apart into two uh, factions, two, two different countries. We're not getting along. Uh, so oddly enough, there is some connection, I suppose, to today. Oh, the prank call went perfectly awesome. Uh, wh what did you end up doing, Chairs? Chairs uh, called a KKK hotline and pranked them. Anyhow, so we got this here. Uh, we just started. We just found out that the pink princess, to our dismay, is uh, Miss Oldbag, uh, which is of course perfect. Uh, and before I start, we start questioning her, and I start doing her voice. I feel like I need to give you fair warning. It might get a bit loud, so if you got uh, your volume on max on your headphones or uh, speakers, you have been warned. Monarchy under King Gary. Well, I think I think it's more of a dictatorship under Snore, and that Gary is kind of a, more of a god king or something, because he has unlimited power and just like hops in to fuck with us whenever he wants. And Snore handles the day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, dictatorship in the best sense of the world, a social dictatorship, if that, uh, something like that. Uh, anyhow. So let's let's ask her wh what she's doing here. Now then, <clears throat> what are you doing here? I thought you were working at Gatewater Land as the Pink Badger. What are you talking about? That was ages ago. That was yesterday. Look. I worked at Global Studios before, a long time ago, right? Once I did a story like you said, they started calling me a bunch of racial slurs. Then I had my friend call them and ask if they were the black ops. Which after what I said made them flip out on him. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Chairs. Good job, man. Should have uh, recorded that. Started a trend. The dick tater ship. Yep, put the dick in the tater. On the ship. Well, they called me up this morning. Kind of out of the blue, actually. They called you? Apparently, the girl who plays the pink princess collapsed from a bad cold. Ogs number two shares. Oh, definitely. That would be pretty fucking glorious. 
What happened? She was suddenly, so they called me in to, to be her last minute replacement. Do they not have enough people on staff at that studio? I really couldn't say no, so here I am, playing the role of the heroine. Instead of that Mindy girl, I mean. Mindy. I got a feeling that that's gonna be important. But that poor girl! I feel bad for her! Wait, hold on. Hold on one second. Did I start one hour early? Holy shit, I started one hour early. God damn. I just realized that. Yep, oh my god, I just fucking realized that. I had a full another full hour. God damn, what should I do now then? Hmm. Three hour stream or finish one hour early. Hmm. Well, we'll see. As long as I have you guys here. I feel kind of bad for, uh... Isn't it daylight savings time? Not for me. Yeah, no, it's okay. I feel kind of bad for maybe if people, like, were planning on watching me one hour from now and then I kind of started early. Yeah, yeah, Chairs, you're right. Damn, well, I'm here already. I might as well. Uh, well. Well, I'm not gonna stop now. I think I'm just gonna keep going, for now at least, and we'll see closer to, uh... Well, my apologies to, uh, if anyone's hearing this. Uh, in the future because you missed it. I did not mean to start one hour early. I just, I don't know, I was confused. I'm un under a lot of pressure the last couple of days and I haven't been sleeping much. So, my bad. Uh, let's keep going for now and worst case, I'll just, I'll end it one hour, it'll still be a two hour stream, just one hour earlier. And if I feel like I can go for it and see that nothing important is coming up on my phone in the meanwhile, then I'll, uh, I'll go for a three hour stream if you guys want. Okay, so, uh, enough about that, back to the game. You know the feeling. Yeah, yeah, don't we all, meet wagon? We all have these, uh, periods. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. Okay, so. Because I tell you, they're really just a bunch of simpletons! You're a rather lively old lady. So basically, you received the stand-in request this morning, correct? You got it! If you need to see it, I've got it right here! Look! It appears that she is telling the truth. Stand-in request data job. okay. Better look that up. I tell you, my fine acting moved the entire audience to tears! Yes, tears of laughter, as I recall. But being famous has its problems too, you know. Here, take a look at this. Hmm? It's a letter from a stalker! What's that? M Mindy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight. Damn! Is it Mindy or is it Mendy? Looks a bit like an E over there, doesn't it? Or is it Wendy? Oh yeah, it's Wendy, because your name is Wendy, old bag. How does... Your loving knight? Who plays the knight? Jesus. I was just taking a break when I found this stock under the door to my room. Honestly, you really have to watch out for these kind of things! Look at what it says! Wendy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight! Your loving night! Hm. How absolutely revolting! I mean, you'd think you could get my name right! There's no accent in my name! Water. <laughs> Wait, 
this horrible handwriting. <clears throat> Where have I seen this before? Ah, oh, but now that you're here, Edgy Poo, I feel 100% safe! Hey, I... Where do I factor into this? You'd bust that evil stalker man for my sake, wouldn't you, Edgy Poo? Well, if you allow me to... If you allow me the liberty to handle this in my own way... I'll gladly dispatch a, dispatch a detective to your house later. Oh, come on, Edgy Poo! Stop being so dismissive and playing hard to get! Jesus. Okay, uh... Let's look at this right here. Letter from a stalker. Miss Oldbag has mistaken from the bad mistakes from bad penmanship. I think it's kind of the same handwriting as the no we got from Larry Butts. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got here. You see this this W that looks like an M. Or this M that looks like a W in this case. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure it was Larry Butts that uh, said that. Why do you call himself a knight, though, when he's the uh, Steel Samurai Daddy, as we know? Odd. Oh, wait, I also want to check out... What was it? A lot of evidence in this case. Request from Miss Oldback to stand in for Mindy. Pink Princess Actress who fell ill. Oh, but there I can actually uh, check more closely. Okay, that'll do for now. What were you doing at the time of the crime? What crime? What? After the show was over, I've had nothing but free time on my hands. So I used the fireplace in the room next door to keep my bad hip warm. In the room next door? Oh, maybe this is why... Larry Butts was caught. I'll descend on you but from above. Yeah, that has to be it. So he has a... For whatever reason. Because he's Larry Butts, I suppose. He has a crush on Wendy. And he was trying to descend on her from above. In a very uh, PG way. Which is literally descending from... From the top of the fireplace. You gotta go? Okay, see you soon, chairs. Uh, okay, that that's why he was there. Stuck. And he probably got the the chimney wrong, because he's Larry Butts again. Okay, see you in an hour, man. Well, a murder occurred in the room right next to yours! Is that right? Oh, Edgy Poo! I'm so scared! Hold me! Caress me! If, if you could please not cling onto my personage. In any case, I take it then that you failed to show up at Ambassador Alba's speech. Oh, that! No, I didn't go! I mean, I may have the heart of a young, tender maiden, but my body just refuses to cooperate at times. As soon as the show started, my hip started acting up and got stiff. I couldn't move at all. The old lady always in a... Yeah, now that I think of it, she is. Oh, no, actually, on the first case, she was a... Uh... A security guard, she wasn't uh, technically in a costume, I suppose. Can you provide proof of your condition? Oh, you just go on ahead and ask the doctors in the infirmary. They're the ones who carried me from the theater all the way to this embassy. I have to admit, the thought of her not being able to leave that room is rather pleasant.
prosecutor Von Karma. I brought the police dog, as you requested, sir. Oh, shit, I thought for a second I was... I was confused for a second. I thought that dog was a uh, missile from, um... From Ghost, from Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. That would have been the best fucking crossover. Good Valk. You may leave now, officer. Doge. Hmm. This dog. I request the assistance of a dog in our search for the Atagarasu. Looks like you guys have some pretty bright dogs in the country in this country too. Woof woof! I don't know. What what voice does the Doge get? Any spe any special voice you guys want uh, the Doge to have? Oh, he's so cute. He is a Doge. He's a, he's a Shiba. Shiba, Shiba Inu. Hey, you're a real cutie, aren't you? Yeah, that's a good boy. That's the police dog Gumshoe's been taking care of. I think its name is. No way! It is a crossover. Guys, check this out! It's a fucking crossover! No, 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 he does not speak like he's retarded. He is fucking missile! It's a fucking cro- I can't believe this! I don't know if you guys remember, but missile had the- Hey, DBK! Did, did, were you here when I did the ghost trick? It's fucking missile from ghost trick! Holy shit! There's no way they would have, like, chosen this name. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it the missile voice. Oh man, then double uh, volume alert, because I remember people uh, bitching about that earlier. Man, I am so happy. I am so happy. Oh, well, I hope he gets more lines. What a fitting name for a dog. For a police dog that dashes out in front and attacks. That action alone isn't exactly what's going to solve the case for us, you know? Dude, backcountry, there's a crossover. You remember Missile from Ghost Trick? He's fucking here. There's a crossover right now. This is the best thing ever. Use it again for the girl in Hotel Dusk. Well, I used it, I think it was originally in 999. I give it to the girl in 999. And, uh, and then I give it to Missile, and then I give it to the girl in Hotel Dusk, I remember. I know, right, Backcountry? It's fucking awesome! I'm so hyped for this. I hope he gets more lines. He had, like, he, he had one line, which was Bark Bark. And it was before we knew his name was Missile, so I hope he gets more lines somehow. Wasn't Missile also the dog from the first game? Really? I don't remember actually, Bliven. I, I, it's been like, I played the first game like... Four or five years ago. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's a double crossover then? I don't know. He's a, he's a Shiba. Uh, Bats. And I think uh, Missile from Ghost Trick was also uh, a Shiba. And I don't know, you, you could be right, Bliven. I'm not, I don't remember that far. It was a long time when I played that case. Uh, but even then, I, I, there's no way, it cannot be a coincidence. Oh no, that's right, it was a Pomeranian. You're right. But yeah, there we go, the, just the fact there's a... Uh, it was a Pomeranian, you're right. I still, th th this cannot be a coincidence. It can't be a coincidence, from all the dog names in the world. Well, Missile's name may be in reference to the way when he... Uh, nah, nah. More likely named after core developer developer Shu Tukami's real life pet Pomeranian. Strengthening the fact that Pomeranian, the Tukami developed Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, was also named Missile. Yes! Incoming Missile. Amazing. I'm so hyped for this. This also appears in Marvel vs. Cap. Oh my god. I gotta play that. Just, I, just to play as Missile. I loved him. Now, Missile, 
I want you to go f to find some clues. Go! Schnell! Okay, and again, uh, volume warning, I remember people talking about this when I streamed uh, Ghost Trick. Missile voice is pretty fucking loud and uh, kind of shrill, so if your volume is high, you might want to lower it just a bit. WHAT?! <laughs> that was so fun! Good dog! You really are quite bright, aren't you? I'm like a certain someone I know. Now, what do we have here? What is this? It looks like a small hot dog, but... Hmm? Wait, Francisca, isn't that an official samurai dog? No! The bad missile! He ate it. I wonder if it's alright for him to eat that. It's just a meat substance snack featuring the steel samurai. I'm sure he'll be fine. That's quite a bit of information you guys out there in a single quick glance. We should really be focusing on why there was a samurai dog in he there in the first place. Hmm? It looks like that snack wasn't all missile found. Oh, and what do we have here? It appears to be a lady's undershirt. I wonder if Ambassador Alba might have an interest in cross-dressing. I somehow doubt that. It doesn't look like the shirt would even fit him. A samurai dog in a lady's undershirt. What are these two items doing in a room like this? Um, I don't know, maybe... No, I was gonna say old bag. But she wasn't in this room, so it can't really be. It could be, though. Well, obviously we're gonna find Miss Yu here somewhere, so maybe it was hers somehow? <clears throat> Given the circumstances, the lady's undershirt could only belong to one person. I suppose I should get this over with and ask the owner of said undershirt about it. Nice undershirt? I really don't- well, old bags? But it doesn't really add up. Maybe there's some other girl? Wendy or whoever the, was the pink princess before getting sick. Mindy, I think her name was. Hmm. Okay. So wait, first of all, I gotta talk to this guy. He was a much bigger herb than I thought he would be. Yes. However, there are a few aspects I don't understand about what, about what he found. In that case, you should keep on investigating until you do understand. Now, minus a subordinate, continue with the investigation. Alright, I will. It is with great dread that I proceed and do what I must to solve the case. This commitment is truly amazing. Uh, okay, let's look at our new piece of- Oh! It's only- we don't have the sandwich, only the ladies, I'm sure. One person would- Here, who would own the shirt. I suppose it's old bag, it's gotta be her, but yeah, there's no other woman here anyway. Could have been misused, though. Okay, let's let's start with this. Let's see if this works. If you could please take a look at this brown-colored undershirt. Oh, Edgy Poo! What is the meaning of this? Hmm. Why did you steal that thing from my bags? 
All you had to do was ask, and I would have gladly given you as many as you'd like. No. Th thanks, but no thanks. This shirt was found here at this crime scene. What? Come now, why don't you just confess and explain what it's doing here? I know nothing! Nothing I tell you! What? Oh, I admit that I used a fireplace to dry that shirt! Oh, so there is only one fireplace. Okay. I thought she said in the next room. Oh, maybe she she was using this here and she was drying the shirt here or hitting the shirt here and was uh, resting her hip by the in the next room. But I can't help the fact that I had to, you know. Wearing that pink princess costume was like being in a sauna. And on top of that, I get fingered as a suspect. You're too cruel, Edgy Poo. Are you claiming that you never once set foot inside this room? Of course I am! Oh, so, okay. Her name is Old Bag. That country. Wendy Old Bag. If I had been the one to find the body, do you think I'd be as calm and relaxed as I am? I tell you, it's always like this. Chad Rose Annika is missing. The camera, they're missing. Speaking of missing, the, when we got married, he said I get proposing that. What's going to serve you? But I can't help it. Will you marry me? Honestly, men these days. Um, well, I don't believe she's lying about her actions. You never get petted by missile. You'll never get to pet missile, too. Unless you find, I don't know, apparently there is a real missile, right? That's what Water wrote, I think. Or Bats, about, uh, that it's the developer's, uh, Pomeranian. So you could try and find that, uh, whatever his name is, uh, the developer and try to, and, uh, ask him to pet his missile. That could be your goal in life, Apollo. She also had a weird costume to Oh, you're absolutely right, Suica. Yep, so I guess she is always in a costume. So I can safely assume she really was drawing her shirt by the fireplace on her break. And somehow, the undershirt managed to move from the next room into this one. I wonder. I assume the samurai dog was also yours. Oh, that's the real missile? He's fucking adorable. That's pretty fucking cute. I'm still interested in drownies. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't remember who posted the, one of the links the last night, but yeah, I did. it really helped. You, you guys' helped last night. I don't remember who sent what exactly, but in general, it was very helpful. I felt really bad about sending it, like, holy shit. I heard the crimes of Rue Morgue has extensive description of a drowned body, like several pages. Well, yeah, but again, Palma, I needed a visual reference. Uh, something that the production designer could show uh, the, the doll maker. So it's not really, because we already have description in the, a description in the script. Well, like, it's bloated, and, you know, fish ate off his ears and his the tip of his nose, like all the soft tissue. Uh, stuff like that, but it wasn't really, uh... But we needed a visual reference. And I sent him, like, you know, a bunch of pics and videos that I found. And I was like, holy shit! I had to, like, I put it, I put him all, like, in a zip. I told him, like, okay, just so you know, this is very real and very graphic. Because I was like, holy shit, what kind of, like, he could fire me for this. I'm just, I'm sending my boss pictures of drowned bodies right now. Like, I'm sending my boss gore right now. I could get fired for this if he like, and I was like, maybe, maybe I misinterpreted. Maybe he meant like he wanted me to find pictures from like TV series and movies of drowned bodies. But I don't know. He he opened the the mail. He didn't say eh, I'm not fired yet. So you know, and how many jobs do you get to send uh, your boss score after he asked for it? Not many. So that that's a story. That's a good story for uh for the ages, my ages at least. 
I assume the samurai dog was also yours. Ah, oh, that really is mine of yours. You really can't see through everything about me. And so the feeling of dread continues. But I suppose I should ask for more details. Okay, so I guess I can. You don't even get hired without putting some core in your CV. <laughs> that would be something. Yeah, I've heard some shit about uh, Argentina this week, but uh, I didn't think it was that bad. That samurai dog was yours, wasn't it? Oh, of course I'm forever yours, my edgy wedgy poo! Hold it! Hold it. If you could just stick to what I asked you. Shit, I, I don't remember Larry's voice. If anyone has a voice for an idea for a voice for Larry, let me know. Cause he's kind of vague in my in in my head right now. Edgy, are you and Miss Oldbag? No. You really don't change, do you? Where will you learn how to take a joke? Surfer bum, but that's kind of already the voice of, um, he looks like a surfer bum, he does a bit, but he's pretty, he's actually pretty, um, not, a, like, enthusiastic and shit. And also I gave a, kind of like a surfer bum voice to the, to the other ambassador. Like, hey, like this, this is the voice I gave him. Which is kind of like, I don't know, that's pretty much what, like, how I would do a surfer bum. So, I don't know, I could switch though, if you want me, Wagon. Whatever you want. When will you really do change, do you? When will you learn how to take a joke? Anyway, that samurai dog wasn't mine! Those things are a present from the studio to the embassy! And a present? That sounds like Bullwinkle if he was depressed. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. I didn't grow up on uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle though. I only saw the, the movie when I was a kid. The CGI one. The studio bigwigs basically told us to play delivery, boys. We were supposed to hand the dogs off to the embassy people and tell them hi. I had to pile them into the push cart just to move them all. The studio guys should have delivered those things by themselves, right, Edgy? So, did you deliver the samurai dogs to the embassy staff as per your instructions? Hey, Edgy! Don't just ignore me in my question! Aren't you going to stick up for me? Oh, about that! See? After the show, I went to rest to spill in the dressing room. Because of my bad hip, you know. And there they were. The samurai dogs were just sitting on the dressing room floor. Hmm. I suppose you had to make preparations for distributing them after the show. Well, if by preparation you mean sampling them as well. Excuse me. Oh, I tried one and thought they were actually quite good. Sorry, but I just had to find out. I know it was silly of me to think this, but... I figured that since they're for a kid's show, their taste was probably for kids too. But they were so good that I couldn't stop. Before I went back to my room, I just had to help. <coughs> sorry. I just had to help myself to a half a dozen or so boxes. As I sat there by the roaring fire, warming them and eating them, I thought, "Oh, this is." Oh, cool. That's pretty awesome, Pama. Yeah, you should totally stream it. What is it now? 
Oh, I know. I bet you want a box too, don't you, my edgy poo? Well, who am I to say no to you? But I'll only give you one. The rest are all for me. That's <laughs> forced onto me. <laughs> Looks like the lesson for today is that when the Steel Samurai and the Pink Princess take off their masks, they transform into a pair of annoying troublemakers. Okay, let's check out this thing right here. Confirm the staff is all back, took and ate a few from the dressing room. Okay. Okay, uh, let's check the logic, see if we can connect anything right now. Or if, or if I should talk to the other guys. Using the fireplace, and the shit from next door. I'm not sure, I guess it's worth a try. How much HP do I have? Where can I see that? Do get the logic? I think my HP is full, or almost. Yeah, it's pretty, it's almost. So I'll, I'll take the gamble right now, I think. I like to live on the edge, you know. Making rash decisions in my video games make me, makes me feel alive. Oh shit. I can't see a clear connection between these two pieces of information. Damn. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Uh, okay, so I guess we better talk to everybody. See what they can tell us. I think we're gonna go right to left again. Who's this guy? I don't remember him. Oh, okay, so I already talked to him. I don't think. Do I have. Maybe I can present to Butts the, the undershirt or the, the other thing. Oh, wait, can I present something to uh, Missile? No. What? Nah, same to. Okay. Okay, let's see about this guy. No matter how hard you try, you'll never be a necessity in our Shifu's investigation! Well, that's a fact. But no matter how good he is, he is bound to overlook something. <gasps> if you insult our Shifu, then prepare to be punished! Or? And how exactly would you punish us? Every investigator under Shifu's command will work to disrupt your investigation! Vindictive much? Okay. That was very useful. You did some investigating over in the Babylon's embassy too, right? I did. Is there a problem? Lag Z says, a wolf who aims to hunt for two rabbits at once. Is believe I be oh. I believe the idiom you you require is he who runs after two hairs will catch neither. You're an invalid image in real life, Bats? Damn. Must be hard being an invalid. <laughs> A real wolf can catch both. I see. So what are you trying to say, seeing as how I am currently handling two cases? <laughs> Suit yourself. But don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. I re well, I guess Larry. But I really should have checked. Uh, I forgot. Well, I also started one hour early by mistake. But I really should have checked like what voice they gave him uh, back back when I streamed the other games. Oh well. Uh, what do I want? Oh, talk. Larry. There are a few things I need to ask you about. Hey, how about that? I've got a few things I've got to ask you, too! What is it? It's like, both you and him. How is it that the two of you always manage to have some cute or hot girl by your side? Oh, he means, uh, Phoenix. It's funny that they don't actually say Phoenix's name in this game. At least not so far, they only talk to him as him. Talk about him as him. 
And Franzi, what about that promise you made to me? Promise? What promise? The one where you said you would model from my next book, Franzi's Whippity Whip Trip! No! I made no such promise! Ever since grade school, we've had a certain saying about Larry. When something smells, it's usually the butts. One needs to look no further than this man to find the king of troublemakers. Okay. Uh, oh, so yeah, I guess I can ask him about everything. As I recall, aren't you calling yourself Loris Dunim now? That's... What? How am I supposed to pronounce that? That's Donim! Loris Donim! Get that string in your head, Edgy! Am I pronouncing that right? Oh, 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 oh! Now I remember. It was a true, pale imitation of a real artist. No, no, no! You've got it all wrong! I gave up on that whole Loris business. Besides, when Benjolina left me in my heart in pieces, that's when Mindy walked into my life. Oh. Wait, that's it. That has to be it. He probably wrote this. His shitty writing. It's probably okay. She thought it said Wendy when it actually says Mindy. Because his M looks exactly like a W because this guy can't even write. Okay, I figured it out. She's been so good to me that I want to help her in some way. <clears throat> What's it, water? Also, I need some more water. I know what what I got today. <clears throat> She's been so good to me that I want to help her in some way. And I figured I could through this steel samurai outfit. Your inane blathering makes less and less sense each time we meet. <coughs> Hold on, I really got a cough, so I'm gonna, gonna mute for a second. There you go. Didn't want you guys to go deaf. I believe he's saying that he picked up this part-time job as the Steel Samurai, so that he may attempt to capture the heart of the actress who plays the Pink Princess. You got it! I knew, uh, you, uh, I knew you'd know what I meant, Edgy! Not really. It's not so much as I understood. But a simple deduction based on your usual modus operandi, Larry. Larry, I'd like you to confess right now to everything you did tonight. C confess Hey! Don't tell me you suspect me, too! Nonsense. I don't believe you have the mental acuity needed to plan and execute a murder. However, we are talking about you here, so I find it hard not to believe that nothing happened. Your past experience has taught me that you are always at the center of some insane event. Uh, Edgy! How could you be so mean? Standing me with your words like that! Un unfortunately, I don't have the time to search out a key to unlock your heart this time. So I suggest that you cooperate and tell me what you know. Okay, okay! I get it! Just stop Franzi from whipping me from behind! So, I guess you know what I did, right, Edgy? I can't even begin to imagine. However, I imagine that whatever you were up to was probably beyond my imagination. So you will tell me what exactly you did, Larry? Nope, not yet, Edgy. I'll take more- it'll take more than that to loosen my lips. <laughs> A lot more! 
Confess! Now! Okay, well, I was up on the roof. And why exactly were you up there? Oh, you know, the wintry costume of that legendary hero. Legendary? Hero? Santa Claus! What? Santa... Claus? I wanted to do that thing he does, so I climbed up to one of the chimneys. Are you really that fucking stupid? Come on. But when I got there, there was smoke pouring out of the chimney. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the piece of logic I needed. And... Well, I couldn't go down the chimney with smoke coming up, right? So I gave up. Objection! Objection. Larry, you do realize that Santa Claus does not exist, right? Also, uh, they found you stuck inside the chimney, so why did you try going down anyway? Or maybe you went to a different chimney. Which wasn't, uh, which there wasn't any smoke coming out of, and that's, that actually works with my theory right now. Of course I know! I did graduate from junior high, you know! Then you should also understand this. If Santa was real, he would be the biggest unlawful trespasser in history! Aw, oh, crud! It is your attempt to imitate Santa that has landed you as, pri as prime suspect in this murder. Come on, man! What's wrong with pretending to be Santa? Objection! Objection! Let's start with the fact that it will be the idea Ides of March in a matter of hours. Santa only visits homes on December 24th. That's in December, you nitwit. No! Hey, wait a sec. We're not in court. Okay, I guess you're right about that. That's a weird way to end uh, an argument. Larry, about the samurai sword that was used in the, as the murder weapon. Oh, that. Well, I shook hands with the ambassador in this room, you know. Yes, apparently you did. And, well, I totally forgot about it and left it behind when I left afterwards. You wanna talk about shock? I was the most shock of all when I heard it killed someone! SHOCKED! Foolish fool, looking especially foolish for foolishly stating such a foolish excuse. You forgot to take something that big with you? Who would believe such a tale? Hold it! Hold it. Sorry, Miss Montcalmer, but I believe him. Because if anyone could forget something like that, it would be Larry. Edgy! You believe me! I just knew that our friendship is something special. Anyway, even if Larry had simply forgotten the sword and left it behind, that in no way clears his name. Which means that I will have to prove his innocence from a different angle. Okay. Uh, now, I wanted to present this to him. Larry, I wonder if you might know what this is. Nope, not a clue. You didn't even look at it. Nah, that's because the only thing I can see right now is the form of my lovely Franzi. Or, in that case, allow me to help you sear my form into into you for all eternity. Eek! Ah! Whippity! Whip! Trip! Is he smiling at the end? Wow! Damn! Now this is a trip I'm willing to endorse, especially if we can finally get some peace here. Okay, oh, so I guess I was wrong about that. Apparently he loves the whip, yeah. What do you call it? It's this flippity whippity something book? <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, we got the piece of logic we needed. Smoke from chimney and use the fireplace.
There we go, this has to be it. There is no trace of this room's fireplace being used. And your point is... Ahem. Smoke was supposedly pouring out of the chimney connected to this fireplace. At least, according to Larry. This is a contradiction of facts, is it not? Are you sure he wasn't just disoriented or something up on that roof? There is testimony from an investigator that puts Larry at this particular chimney. So, no, I don't think it was a mistaken impression on Larry's part. On the other hand, the fireplace in the next room was being used at the time. Where do you suppose the smoke from that fireplace went? Ah, I see. So what you are proposing is this. The smoke that came out of the chimney was actually Miss Oldbag's fire. So basically, the fireplaces of neighboring rooms share one chimney. Is that what, what you are implying? Oh, okay, interesting. Share chimney. The office fireplace and the one in Miss Oldbag's room share the same chimney. Precisely. Okay, let's see if I can use this. Undershirt from next door. And share chimney. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it might mean... No. Well, where he found it. Well, it's not filled with, like, soot and shit. And, uh, coal stains. Uh, it's definitely possible that my connection is shit, Suika. It's been uh, a bit troublesome in the last couple of days. I hope my ISP isn't uh, fucking me over. But it has been giving me some trouble lately. Anyhow, it doesn't have any stains on it, so I don't think... Wait, although... Didn't he say... That seemed like the... I wonder why they made this guy a Shibe. And not... A Pomeranian. Hmm. Anyhow, uh, didn't they say that it seemed like this wasn't used in quite some time? So maybe it doesn't have any suit in it. Or coal. It's a fireplace. But by the looks of it, I don't think it's been used recently. Yes, I can't say that I see anything unusual about it. Cause she well, that's true. But Pomeranes and Pomeranes are also cute. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, I'm gonna give it a shot. Whatever. I'm in the middle of an investigation. I'm gonna get my full health soon. I think it's worth it. Let's see, and... Yes! The lady's undershirt that Missile found. Oh! Why are you getting all excited over holding, a, on, holding on to a lady's undergarment? Why is adverse? You uncouth sea slug! If you know the owner of said under undershirt, then hurry up and return it to her already. You have it all wrong. This is evidence. And the owner of this piece of evidence was in the room next door. And yet, despite that, Miss Elf found it in the fireplace of this room. This lady's undershirt? Are you seriously claiming that it somehow passed through a solid brick wall? Not quite. The fireplace in this room is connected to a chimney. The other fireplace in the other room is also connected to the same chimney. Leading us to the possibility that the two fireplaces are connected to each other. Perhaps a closer look at the back of the fireplace is in order. There's an X on the back of the wall of the fireplace. Really? Huh. Let's see if I can't get a better look at it. Maybe a secret room or something? <gasps> Holy shit! The Fossinza! The wall separating this room's fireplace from the next room's fireplace apparently turns. 
As I suspected, this fireplace does indeed connect this room to the neighboring room. The neighboring room? There appears to be nothing particular about the next room. Well, it is a way to escape if someone would want to. But the fact that there is nothing special about the next room isn't what's important. It's the fact that there is a secret passageway through this room's fireplace. Fireplace Ambassador Alba's office fireplace is connected to the neighboring room's fireplace. Yep. We now know that the fireplace connects the two rooms. But how exactly is that significant? They aren't going to suddenly name the old lady as Demask the second killer now, are you? No, she couldn't move at all because of her stiff hip. So she could not have been the one. Unfortunately, I believe. That this fireplace has nothing whatsoever to do with Demask the second's murder. But it does have something. Oh, complete! Awesome. Full HP. It probably does have something to do with uh, the um, Dayatagarasu's escape. It would appear that the answer has made itself known. You're making quite a confident face there, Mr. Prosecutor. Bring it on. I'm ready to counter any argument you may have. Very well, then. If you are prepared, I'll show you exactly where my deductions have led me. Good! I'm counting on you, Edgy! Picnic at Hanging Rock. What movie is it? What kind of movie? Backcountry. Where is it from? What, what year was it released? Leave it to me, Larry. My first attack will be... to expose your lie for what it really is. My lie! I know that there is still something you are keeping from the rest of us. What's wrong with you? Why is it you won't believe? Why is it you won't believe me no matter what I say, Edgy? Curse you! I just I should just hurry up and die already if that's how it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, it does make sense. From '75. Hmm. Interesting. American. I'll confess to every murder in the whole world and then kill myself. And throw everything into mass confusion! <laughs> you made some wonderful friends as a child, I see. Larry, I only have one thing to say to you. Even if you make that face at me, it's no use! A man who is ready to die is strong-willed, you know! Yeah, Silver Samurai is a bitch. Oh, it's Aussie. Interesting. And hey, Scribble. Good to see you, man. Did you rock the vote? Larry, it doesn't matter what sort of hair-brained trouble you've caused. I only ask that you do not lie to me. If you cause an innocent person to be judged unfairly because of some stupid lie... It hurt you so Oh, I bet it did. Did you vote Joe Exotic, the only uh, hope America has? Very, very Tarkovskian in the place... and that the place becomes the protagonist in a way. That actually makes sense for a mystery uh, movie, I, especially if it's like a locked room mystery or something like that. If you know books, it's similar to what John... Dos Passos or Andre Belli do. No, I haven't read uh, any of their books. Gary Johnson. Fair vote. Can respect that, man. Actually, one of the things I hope might happen from this election is that one of the third-party candidates get like gets like even, I don't know, even like around a 7-8% of the vote. And that just might be, and I don't know, that's a lot of wishful thinking and a long shot uh, but I think that it, even if I, I still have the, some hope that maybe if they'll reach that sort of numbers, it'll make uh, Americans start thinking about like, or it'll help third-party candidates in the future. Uh, and maybe we can start, and maybe along with you know the 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 other two, the two primary candidates, we can well. They, you can start moving on to something other than a two-party system. 
Yeah, we can only hope, Scribble. So, um, I can respect that. Good good on you for following uh, your, your ideals. If you cause an innocent person to be judged unfairly because of some insipid lie... I will never forgive you. Uh, Angie! Although, allow me to say... What happens if they get more than 5% though? What's that long range projectile from new new ship? No, shooting around long range line attack projectile has been pricked. Priced out of the. Oh, okay. That I consider you to be among the innocent in this case. That I will draw the real killer out. You can trust me on this. All right. I. I. This time. This time. I'll tell you the whole truth, okay? What happened? What didn't happen? The works. Just what happened will do. Now then, if you would please testify as to what you did up, to, up on the roof tonight. Presence in the government? But what does that mean, though? In the Senate? Like in the House of Representatives? Or, or like in the government itself? Is the president like forced to pick someone from that party to serve as one of the ministers? Or advisors or something like that? I don't know uh, American politics to that degree, so... Uh... Okay, let's do... Th oh, damn, that face. Up on the rooftop. After the show, I left the pushcart in the Rose Garden and came t into the embassy. Then, they took a picture of me shaking hands with the ambassador. After that, and until my next appearance, I had some free time, so I wandered around. That's when I spotted the chimney. A chimney like that is a rare thing, you know. So then, I wanted to play Santa and decided to give it a try. Larry, I thought I'd just finish telling you not to lie anymore. To not lie anymore. Um, but it's kinda ultra embarrassing. What exactly is so ultra embarrassing that you can't tell me? Edgy man, edgy man, I just said it was embarrassing, so of course I can't just blurt it out. So you're just gonna have to reason it out of me! As your superior, I command you to hurry up and expose this man's lie. I have every intention to, for I'm not about to let us waste time on such trifling matter. Okay, oh, so I definitely know what he did, or why he actually went on the roof. But I think I'm going to need to press to make him uh, blurt something out so I can uh, use that piece of evidence on it. Hold it! He left the pushcart. Could you please clarify that statement for me? Yeah, so the wheels on the pushcart got covered in dirt from the rose garden. It would have made a mess of the floor inside, so Ambassador Albert told me to just said to just leave it. Well, it would be rather impolite to dirty another country's embassy. Come to think of it, I recall seeing the pink princess on my way into the embassy. And what was she doing? Nothing in particular, because she was being carried by some dogs on a stretcher. She must have been incapacitated by the pain of her bad hip that she suffered during the show. So, I came into the embassy, right? And then... Picture shaking hands. Hold it! So you shook hands with the ambassador of the Kingdom of Alabas, did you? Yeah, can you believe it? D I did something really cool for a change. But, honestly speaking, there's nothing interesting about shaking some guy's hand. Hey there, are you disrespecting another country at their very own embassy? As someone with roots in this country, I'm feeling nothing but incredible shame at this second. What? She's from Alabast? Isn't she from Germany? 
That read. Oh, roots in... I don't know, maybe America? I apologize for his inconsiderate words. Now, Larry, please continue. What is... What is with all of you? You keep saying that kind of thing and I'll tell only lies. You're already telling us nothing but lies. So let's go and move on. Alright already! You don't need to glare at me like that, Edgy! So my next appearance I had some free time so I wanted to run. That's where I think he's lying. Hold it! Larry, I want you to listen very carefully and take this to heart. The whole point of your life is to cause misery and pain to everyone you encounter. Oh, Jesus, Edgy. I know! I get it! I'm totally the bad guy again! Hold it! Hold it. I thought you were his friend. Don't you think that was a bit harsh? Lang Z says, true friends are bosom friends. Well, Lang Z sure uh, probably did some things in his life. If you are, if you are in trouble, call on your bosom friend, whose shoulder you can truly cry on. Hey, a bosom buddy, I hope you're listening carefully to my testimony. Has it crossed your pea-sized brain that Agent Lang is only out to arrest you, Larry? Bosom before hose. Uh, I don't know, DBK, maybe bosom at the same time as hose? Simultaneously as hose. Now then, you were wandering around the embassy, around the embassy, and then what happened? That's my spot. The chimney, a chimney like those rare thing, is it? Hold it! Hold it! I should hardly think the chimneys are that rare. Agreed. Especially since they are a traditional feature of American houses. Plus, many grand buildings have even larger and fancier chimneys. Yeah, but the kind of chimney I'm talking about is the really romantic type. There we go. That's what I want to hear. A romantic chimney? It might sound kind of silly, um, but women seem to really enjoy them. And I just had a good feeling about that chimney. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna press this, but I think it's the last statement. Let's see. Hold it! Hold it! You suddenly wanted to play Santa? Oh, well, actually, I dressed up as Santa once before already. It was down at Gourd Lake. Ugh. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't dredge up so much, such unnecessary memories for me. <laughs> Sounds like you guys share a lot of history. A perk to being childhood friends, huh? Besides, it's not a felony to dress up and play Santa, you know. Santa doesn't go around killing people after he comes down a family's chimney, after all. Actually, it is worth delving into whether or not playing Santa is a big deal. Of course I'll raise your objection, as always. Actually, I believe in the case of this man, playing Santa is actually quite a big deal. Are you saying that your buddy isn't exactly made of Santa quality stuff? Precisely. You hit the nail on the head, Agent Lang. Hey, Edgy! That's so incredibly mean! Tell me something, Larry. Did you know that Santa's job is to deliver presents to people all over the world? Of course I know that! I did graduate from junior high, you know! In that case, it's your turn to tell me something. I want you to tell me to whom you were delivering a present to. Um, I was, uh, delivering a present to a child not basking in the glow of love? Objection. OBJECTION! That must be the most elegant description that I've ever heard, but a lie is still a lie. Oh, a few that I've ever heard, but a lie is still a lie. You sure know how to kick a guy when he's down, you know that? 
in any case, the person you wish to deliver unto was most certainly this. Uh, well, it's either... Who's this? Mask the ma That's Mask the Mask Unmasked? Really? Kashinu. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure that we don't have Misty in here somewhere, but it's from X Security Lady. The one behind the pink... You, you won't even say her name. I believe her real name is Wendy Oldback, yeah. Keith Faraday, close to you, Sheena, Siska. Colias, <coughs> huh. Manny Cochin, Shilon Lang, Quercus Alba. My buds. Okay, so it had to be her. <coughs> I thought maybe. Oh, it's probably this, and it was by mistake. He is, he is in love with uh, Misty or Mindy or whatever is, her name is. Take that! <coughs> Sorry. Oh, what chip? Meanwhile, oh, and you're talking about what speaker of <laughs> Interesting taste you have there, Mr. Suspect. D -d Don't spread lies about me! I totally didn't want to see Miss Oldback so much that I tried to go down a chimney. Oh! I advise you to stop right there in your bashing of a lady. Well, I must admit that I, myself, hardly ever have the want to run into that lady. However, what if you were misinformed and under the wrong impression? Then what? Define wrong impression. I simply mean that the man before you thought to enter the old lady's room without knowing one very important fact. And that fact is best summed up with this. Probably the letter. Take that! Larry, I'd like for you to take a look at this piece of evidence. No way! But... Oh shit, it's the letter. I should have written the letter. It's not really all that important, is it? It's always like this. You acting so high and mighty, and then you bully me. That's why I refuse to look at it. Big fire to just take a look. Well, if you say so, Franzi. But only because you say so. Some people never change. Even if their attitudes do change at the whim of women. So what's up with that anyway? Why, it's proof that you never even knew existed, of course. Oh, is that all? Well, I don't need it right now, so I'll just give it back to you. What? <laughs> I've got you on the ropes now, don't I? Is that piece of evidence unrelated to the question at hand? All that fucking dialogue. I need to think through this one more time. Larry didn't know one very important fact when he tried to sneak into the old bat's room. It always happens to me, I'm always sure I got something. And then I forget to look all over, over all of the evidence. And then I get it wrong. Anyhow, it has to be this. Take that! This is something the old lady received from her employer for the night. The girl who normally plays Pink Princess, Mindy, was it again? It seems that this man is quite taken with that actress. Hold it! But that's not true, Edgy. Hmm? She's the one with the hearts for me. I just know it. I can feel her sexy beam piercing my heart when she's watching me. Sexy beam, I tell you! You fancy, despicable, inconsiderate, fickle, idiotic, cowardly apparition of a man. You haven't matured at all since we last met. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Yes? This guy, he's got bigger problems than just getting involved in murders, I take it? I suppose you could put it that way. Hey, what the heck, man? I don't get you guys at all! Why do you all have to make me out to be some sort of bad guy? To return to the original topic, 
I propose that at least this much has been made clear. Without any knowledge that Miss Mindy has fallen ill, Larry tried to make his way into the Pink Princess's room. That much we know for sure. Uh, hold it! Hey, Edgy, looks like I've got the hang of this court thing now. But we're not in court at the moment. Shut up! I see what's going on here, and it looks just like what you do in court. I guess old boy here... I guess old boy here still has something he'd like to say. Lang Zi says, Until the root of the tongue dries, one never knows the whole truth. You shouldn't form conclusions until everything is out in the open, which is why I listen. Alright, then get ready to listen to me defeat Edgy in a battle of wits. Larry, have you forgotten that I that should I lose, your victory prize will be your arrest. Okay, let's see what he has to say. So you think that all I wanted was to do was to go visit Mindy? Well, I dressed up as Santa and climbed up to the chimney, but the smoke was really thick. It was a case of mistaken identity, and that mistake made me late for the speech. Then, to top it all off, I became a suspect in a murder. That's what you really meant. But why would I ever put myself through so much humili humiliation on purpose? So you're saying that you didn't do it? I kinda got proof. Hey! Someone say something! Larry, are you seriously trying to submit this? Not as a confession, but as testimony? So what if I am? Is there something wrong with that? My claim is a claim claiming my claim! Do you have a problem with that? So, it was you! You're my stalker! But I should warn you, it doesn't matter what kind of flattery you throw at me. I'm the devoted type of woman who's holy as long as Edgy Poo is alive, I can't drop him and be unfaithful. No, Ellie always tempted love for my Edgy Poo, which stay completely true for my... Oh, I'm so inspired. You're such an inconsiderate, cowardly, idiotic, and all around completely worthless mensch. I thought I heard something ominous just now, but perhaps it was just my imagination. I believe there's nothing further for me to prove at this point. What do you mean? Of course you've still got something to prove. You still have to show some proof that I was trying to meet up with Mindy. Proof, you say? Remember, Edgy? Everything is evidence in court, remember? You mean, evidence is everything in court, Larry. But, I understand your point. Yeah, see? I'm totally a pro at this now. Very well. If you wish to see the evidence, then let me show you the last piece of evidence you'll ever wish to see. Okay, I'm not sure on which statement, though, so maybe I should... Press everything? So I think that all I want was to get... Well, I'll press, just to be sure. Hold it. Hold it! Well, I have been saying that for a while now. After all, if not for that, then for what other reason did you wish to go down that chimney? Hold it! You can't say that without any evidence. That's against the rules, Edgy. Not so fast. <laughs> Thanks for keeping the prosecutor in line for me, Mr. Suspect. Hold it! Hold it. <laughs> I have the evidence, and if you wish to see it that badly, I can introduce you to... Ah, uh, but it's not good to keep them waiting, my subordinate. Hurry and show them already! The lies! All lies, Edgy! Well... If you wish to lie, then by all means, continue. 
because I'm ready to expose your lie at a moment's notice. Oh, you, you won't get the better of me. No. Let's see. He dressed up as Santa. What? Hold it! Was the smoke coming from the chimney really that thick? You bet! I was so sick, I had tears pouring out of my eyes! It was a mess! Hmm. I see. You do realize that you just confirmed for us your chimney escapade. What? That's totally unfair! You tricked me, Edgy! <laughs> Hardly. You simply have yet to master how to counter this cross-examination technique. Well, what I just said was a slip of the... No, I mean, I said the wrong thing. Besides, isn't this what you really meant to say about what I did tonight? Okay, so I guess that's nothing. I'm not quite sure how you could mistake that actress for this lady. Oh, Reggie Poo! Are you staring at me? Oh, 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 are you finally succumbing to my feminine charms? I should think that the Steel Samurai is the one who should know all about your charms. What? But me? Reggie, what are you trying to do to me? Nothing. Simply that the Steel Samurai and the Pink Princess are husband and wife. Oh, my poor little Edgy Poo's jealous. Is my pa whatever. Oh, if you could please drop that line of discussion right this instant. But Edgy, I, I told you, I already have Mindy. Speaking of Mindy. Exactly what kind of woman would you say she is? Hold it! Edgy, are you seriously telling me you don't know who THE Mindy is? See, just like what her name means. She's super sweet with a great smile. I don't mean to brag, but she's one of the tr of the troupe's fastest riding s rising stars. Interesting. Hold it. <laughs> So you're saying a woman like that is what made you late to the speech? Huh? C curse you too! Why is everyone out to make a suspect out of me? Look, all I can say is this. I was late to the speech. Tabarava became the suspect of a murder, that's what you really meant. Hold it! Hold it. I suppose you might be correct in a small way. What do you mean by that? Besides being a suspect in a murder, there are a few other things you are a suspect of. Oh, not you too, Franzi! You tried to stalk me! But I won't let you intimidate me like that! Look! I already told you, Miss Oldback! I wasn't off after you! I was trying to see Mindy! Hold it. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, can I just arrest this guy already? I completely understand how you feel, Agent Lang. Wait! Please listen to what I have to say! If you have a serious assertion to make, then I consider listening. However... No problem. I'm gonna put all I've got into this, so listen good, okay? I would ever put myself through so much humiliation on purpose. I think this might be the statement. Let's see, there was another one I thought so earlier, but let's see. Hold it! Hold it! Larry, this is the final point you wish to make. You got it! I've called it all of the energy I have and told it to you with all my soul! In that case, Allow me to take that soul and break it. Huh? Yeah. We'll stop it under, under our feet until it's been ground to a fine powder. A uh, uh, fine powder? 
Eek! If you really put all your soul into that, then you're ready for what's coming, right? Larry, come out from behind there and face this like a man! This whole testimony is one giant confession of all that he's done tonight. He's practically begging me to show why he bothered to put himself through all of that. Yeah, okay, so it might even not matter where I place the... where I present the evidence. I think it's... I'm gonna try this one. Let's see, and it's probably this. OBJECTION! Larry, don't even think about denying that you have knowledge of this letter. <laughs> hey! W w w why are you showing that thing to me? Vendy, I'll be descending on you from above tonight. Your loving knight. Well, isn't that just romantic? Romantic. But you weren't able to descend on her from above, were you, Mr. Loving Knight? Oh! Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I don't remember a thing. Objection. Objection! You can pretend to be ignorant all you like, but it's written right here. This letter proves that you were not out to meet the old lady, but rather that you were attempting to pay Miss Mindy a visit. One part of this letter showed that the person Larry was intended to meet was Mindy. Uh, probably the name? Take, take that! Larry, I suggest you take up penmanship lessons. That is, if you never wish to experience this level of embarrassment ever again. W w w w what the heck? What are you talking about? Speak English! He wrote Mindy so sloppily that it became Wendy to the average eye. Hey, stop picking on me! It's so embarrassing! There, there. Isn't that what childhood friends are for? They're the best, aren't they? For punching? But that will have to wait until we're off of this crime scene. Eek! Edgy! Save me from the scary man! Sure, if you're willing to make amends, starting with your incredibly embarrassing mistake. That... that... That is... that wasn't me! Come again. It's a fake! Someone out to get me, so they made that fake letter! To set me up! Accept your defeat graciously. But you guys are being so mean. Hold it. Hold it. Penmanship analysis. What's that? No matter who, all people have a certain unique feature have certain unique features to their handwriting. Oh, I wish I could scribble. I really wish I could. Oh go. What we have to do is compare the handwriting in this letter to a sample of yours. And we'll know soon enough who it was that sent this letter. I... 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 I'll never write another thing in my life! Hold it! Hold it! It's no use, Mr. Loving Knight. For you've already graciously provided me with a sample of your handwriting. And, oh, actually, it's right here. From the Samurai Daddy. My own personal letter. Take that! Take that! Well, yeah, the sword did already kill... Oh, the sword above there. I mean, not the fake Samurai sword. This autograph in our mysterious letter. If you compare the handwriting, we'll know the answer to our question soon enough. Confess now, Larry. 
to your miserable failure. I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I did it. It was me causing trouble again. I admit it. You hit the nail right on the head. Edgy. So, he finally confesses. I saw the pink princess being carried around in a stretcher. I got worried, all right. I wanted to go into Mindy's room, but the doctors wouldn't let me in. So what choice did I have? It was the chimney or bust, Edgy. Your mind jumped from the door to the chimney with a criminally overactive imagination. Well, at least I was honest and wrote Mindy a letter and stuck it under the door. That way, she wouldn't be so shocked when I came down through the chimney. You're such a fucking creep, dude. Except for the fact that the letter was an utter failure at conveying said sentiment. I'm really, really sorry. Larry, you may be a shameful, good-for-nothing blight on the face of humanity. Wow. However, I always knew you weren't the killer. I told you to trust me. Because, at the very least, I can attest to that about you. Edgy! You're... Ack! We've lost a lot of valuable time because of you! Oh! In any case, I believe we can say that we now know exactly what's happened. Her Larry Butts sought to climb down the chimney. Not for access to the crime scene. But to enter the room of the elderly lady next door. Hold it. Great job, Mr. Prosecutor. Although, I still find it a bit unbelievable that the two of you are friends. With the suspicion on that guy over there. Is it completely resolved yet? So don't get any funny ideas about running off, okay? Oh. Hey. What? Edgy. What does the Wolfman mean when he says I'm not off the hook yet? He means the murder weapon. Larry, did you forget? There are two layers of suspicion hanging over your head. That's exactly what I meant. We can't only rely on the words of the suspect, after all. We may have figured out where he was and what he was doing all night. But the bloodstained samurai sword that was left at the crime scene. As long as there is no satisfactory explanation for that, this wolf will refuse to ease up on his bite. Eek! Edgy, that guy, he looks like he's seriously about to take a bite out of me. I'm well aware, and you should be as well, that this upcoming battle would be crucial. Thanks to the cooperation of our lovely Bumbler. I've been dealt a very nice hand and a sweet rub card. Looks like we're about to enter the final bout. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, let's see what you've got. I can easily point out the contradiction in the supposed murder weapon. But the real problem for me is figuring out what the real murder weapon is. This will be a high-stakes gamble. But this is one game I can't afford to lose. Okay. To be honest, I have no clue right now what what's the real murder weapon and how and what's the inconsistency or the contradiction. So hopefully pressing will help me. Or something will be obvious about his statement. I was the one who found the body of the victim, Damask the Second. Beside him was the samurai sword, glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. 
It was supposed to be in the Steel Samurai's dressing room, but I found it here instead. Wait, maybe the room next door that's connected with the uh, fireplace is the Steel Samurai dressing room. And that's where the killer took it from. Interesting. Plus, I found the murder weapons owner, the suspect Larry Buds, in here too. What? How? I thought he was found on the ceiling. Isn't it a bit... Do I have something that proves that he was on the ceiling? I don't think so, but... Uh... Let's have a look here. Hmm. Foot of Steel Samurai, Samurai Sword. Maybe something with a spear, but I'm not sure. Well, I guess I'll just have to find something. Isn't it a bit far-fetched to accuse someone simply on the basis of ownership? But this owner wanted to sneak into the crime scene. I think that's plenty to go on, don't you? Hold it! If you are alluding to his reason for being by the chimney, we've already established that. Not so fast. Not so fast. Hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor. You two are longtime friends, right? Who's to say you didn't fabricate the evidence to give him an alibi? You're accusing me of fabricating evidence? Whoops, hold on. You think I can believe anything you produce? Forging evidence is all you prosecutors do! <gasps> this man has some serious issues with prosecutors. But come on! I can't think up I can't think of something as complicated as that! Right, Edgy? Larry? I can agree, because I know you, and your personality, well. However, Agent Lang knows nothing about you, or me, for that matter. I sense his hatred for my entire profession- Oh shit, emanating from something. I accidentally clicked. Meaning that the only way I can prove Larry's innocence is to present irrefutable evidence. Hold on just a second. Okay. Why Larry? So, let's start by pressing because I really have no clue right now. So you were the first to discover the body this time. This time? What's that supposed to mean? You better watch what you say. I only said this time because earlier, Kay was the first to discover the body in Babal. And your secretary, Agent Shina, was ready to accuse her of murder for that. Not so fast. Not so fast. Ha! So are you going to use that excuse to call me suspicious now? Of course not. I was simply pointing out the usual pattern with discovering of bodies. But in the Babalese case, there was proof that she was holding the weapon, right? Well, in this one, it's a bit different, since we know exactly where the weapon is. Was beside him. Yeah, he is a turbo dickass. Well, he's super professional, but he's a real dick to prosecutors. And basically his agenda to, like, cry he's a really good detective. But his whole agenda to, like, um... He, he doesn't really solve crime. He just, his, his whole... He thinks that his whole job is just to arrest people and let the prosecutor, like, build the case against them. I mean, he does try to arrest the right people in a sense, but he told us a number of times on the last case we were with him on that it's not his problem to think why the um, the suspect did what he did. That he, what he did, what he did. Like he should, uh, like the prosecutor should prove that, not him. 
So he's kind of a dick, but he's uh, he's a professional dick. So that uh, gives him some points at least. Excuse me, but glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. Do I have to spill it out for you? I mean the sight and smell of blood, of course. And according to the tests, the blood on the wind on the sword belongs to the victim. The sword was made to only be used on stage, so it's not sharp. But it is pretty weighty. It's certainly heavy enough to beat someone to death with. Which leads me to suspect that the victim was beaten to death with the sword. Beaten to death, huh? That last statement is too important to just let it slip by. What? Well, we know that the victim was bludgeoned. Son was the samurai sword covered the victim's blood. Okay. Yeah, he definitely is. If I'm pressing this, is it the same statement or is he gonna say something different? Because he did change his phrasing a bit. So the sword is covered in the victim's blood. Actually, looking. Oh, yeah, well, the tip wasn't. But he wasn't stabbed, he was hit with it. He, it seems like he wasn't hit with a broadside, though, which is a bit weird if he was blooded, but still. Yeah, the lab results confirm that the blood of the sword matches the victims. But the sword is as dull as a vanilla envelope. It's just a stage prop, after all. The Samurai is all about face-to-face, so you can't use the local real sword. The Steel Samurai has spoken. The Pink Princess also appears to have something she'd like to petition to you personally. The Pink Princess would like to say can wait for the day after eternity! Anyway, my point is that even though the sword is too dull to slice with, it's certainly heavy enough to bludgeon someone to death with. Therefore... Hmm. I'm not sure I can uh, dispute that, actually. I suspect he... Oh, well, I did that already. Hold it! Hold it! About this samurai sword, have you received a report from forensics yet? They confirmed that the blood on the sword belongs to the victim. Alright, but have they confirmed that the outline of his wound is consistent with the weapon? Tell me something. Do you see the dead, the dead body right in front of you? So. If they were conducting the autopsy right now, shouldn't that body not be here? Well... Hmm. I suppose so. I guess they must still be investigating this room. Meaning that it's possible he doesn't know about that piece of evidence through nature. Anything else you'd like to chit-chat about? No? Good. Now let's continue. I think there's something about the sword that I need to... I don't know. There's something about the sword that I'm missing, maybe? I know that the samurai spear is hollow and bent. I don't know that about the sword, though. The weapon that... Well, I don't know. It doesn't give me any real info here. How many games do they involve the Steel Samurai in? Well, I know of there was one of the games that I streamed. I don't remember if it was the first or second Phoenix Wright game, but one of them had the Steel Samurai. And this one, obviously. And I think that even if he's not actually present, I think they reference him a bunch of times, because he's like part of the this world's lore. So even if they don't like show him, they talk about like they're they throw in a character that love a character that loves the show or something. Hold it! Hold it. 
Oh, both one and two? Oh. I'll remember one, which actually involves the Steel Samurai, but maybe I'm... Maybe because it's been a while, my mind just, like, morphs them together. Larry has already testified that he forgot the Steel the Samurai Sword here. Yeah, I was shaking hands with the Ambassador in here, and I left it behind by accident. Not so fast. So what? You lied earlier, so who's to say that this excuse isn't just another lie? But I forget stuff all the time. Right, Edgy? Tell him! Why don't you tell him yourself? You see, what did I tell you earlier? No one will buy such a pathetic, weak excuse. Yes, well, I know that it's not possible to prove such an excuse as truth. And did you offer it up as fact? You were a worse person than I originally thought. You're free to think what you'd like. However, I know that Larry is not the killer. Agent Lang, please continue with your argument. I'll expose the fly in it soon enough. And here too. I think he found... Didn't they find him in the up the chimney? Hold it! Just because he is the owner of the weapon, therefore he must be the killer. Is it? No. Climbing all the way up to the chimney is plenty suspicious in my book as well. Objection! Objection. Regarding that, I have already drawn the truth out. And the truth is, one thing I don't bend. Not so fast! Not so fast. It doesn't matter if it's you or whoever. You prosecutors are all the same. And as for me, prosecutors are the one thing I don't trust in. Objection! Objection! I'm an agent who doesn't trust prosecutors. What are you playing at? Hey, Cravey, how are you doing, man? Did you fulfill your uh, democratic duty today? Sorry, sis. But there are only two things I trust. My subordinates and evidence at the crime scene. Agent Lang hates prosecutors. But as long as he trusts evidence that has been left at the crime scene, then there is something I can show him that he can believe in. It's simply not possible that the samurai sword is the real murder weapon. You voted Saturday? How does that work? How can you vote in advance? Huh. Anyhow. And yeah, totally. Go, go get that money, man. So I should focus on proving the, that point to Agent Lang first. Oh, some states have early voting? I did not know that. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's look at this. It's evidence that has been left at the crime scene. So that can only be... Let's see, it can be the papers... I think that's the the hint that the game just gave me. Oh, what could it be? It could be a No way that it's the, the the pot that they're in, right? That's pretty fucking heavy too. Let's see. Or the samurai spear, because that's hollow. What about the dog? I'm really not sure here. Wait, yeah! The statue! It was moved during murder. It could have been the statue then that was used in the murder and then was replaced in the wrong way. I guess this works. Uh, Pama, I think someone told me that they're supposed to start to be, uh... Uh, like they're supposed to start predictions... 
or preliminary prelim preliminary countings at 5 p.m. I think U.S. time, but I'm not sure. Anyhow, so uh, covered in the victim's blood. Was beaten to death with that thing. I think maybe. It's either the photo or the statue. I think I'm going to try the statue. I might lose some health here, because I'm really unsure about this. If anyone has an idea, feel free to, uh, to pitch in. But let's try this. OBJECTION! Shit. Agent Lang, if you would take a look at this piece of evidence, you'd see that there's a very big flaw in your logic. Flaw? Are you sure it's not your eyes that are flawed? Talk to me again when you can see straight! Ugh. Maybe this wasn't the piece I was looking for after all. Supposed to be in the still summer dressing room, I found him here instead. I know, he did change... ...what he said... ...about the blood here. Covered in the victim's blood. Well, it is covered in the victim's blood. I can't, like... And it was beside him. I can't, like, dispute this. I can't even examine it. I got a strong feeling that it's the statue, but I'll, I'll try to think about something else, maybe. I mean, is it? No. Because it doesn't say anything about the, the flower pots. So it's probably not the passion flowers. Maybe the spear? I don't know. Spear was also here, right? I don't remember what exactly Butts said about it, though. But it's hollow, so how can it be the murder weapon? I'm gonna press here again to see what he says real quick. Just to see if it is the statement or not. Sword is covered. The lab results confirm the blood matches. So it's as dull as a vanilla envelope. It's just a stage prop. That's it? That's all he says about that? Even though the sword is too dull to slice with, it's certainly heavy enough to blood with someone to death with. Therefore... Damn it. Yep, a lot of tension. I suspect you beat the victim to death with that. Does my argument? Well, not my argument, but I supposedly have HP. Like, there's a certain number of uh, failed attempts I can do before it's a game over. Uh, so yeah, I have some sort of HP. So I can't just, you know, try everything on everything. That thing. Found it here instead. Maybe the fact that it was beside him? Well, the statue wasn't covered in blood, right? Can I look at it more carefully? It says that it was moved during the murder, so I think it has to be this. And this is certainly heavy enough, too. I'll try this, I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. You can You can't by safe scaling, but that gets... Exactly. Yeah, I agree, Blivin. I mean, I will, I, I will do, and you, I guess, you, I suppose you can also just like save normally and reload. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like you got to start from the beginning of uh, the episode. But still, have you played this game before, Oblivion? I mean, I don't want spoilers. Don't, don't tell me the answer. I'd like to find it out myself. But uh, I'm pretty stuck here. I really got a strong feeling about this, though. You did. Okay. I'm just gonna keep trying for now. Objection! Objection! And I'm wrong again. Lang Z says, Confidence is like a soul, and words without confidence are but empty shells. 
You shouldn't waste your breath on words you have no confidence in, Mr. Prosecutor. Although, it's just as bad to say something in full confidence and be wrong. Ugh. I don't need to be overflowing with self-confidence. I just need to think rationally. After all, I need to be confident in the confident in the facts. Okay, let's let's do what I do every time when I'm stuck. I'm, I'll go through everything. Prosecutor badge has nothing to do with it. Uh, over here, nothing. Oh, there are pages. You know, Valabas, King of the Ball, but that doesn't really help me. Okay, yeah, it has to be something from this crime scene, I think. Steel Samurai's autograph doesn't help me. No, it's a Cochin's. Oh, no, that's Cochin's body, my bad. Bastion knife that was over there, same for the key. Bubble statue. Kodopian. I think all of these have nothing to do with this case. Counterfeit bills, they weren't here either. Still, there's the passion flowers, the photo. Taken before the murder. Wait, is he carrying a sword? No, he's not. No, I think the whole point of this is just to show me that the statue was facing a different way. Damascus note. Primitive statue with a map of where the statue is. I can't look at it. Yeah, I can't look at the other side. I don't know, maybe the spear on the fact that it's certainly... Oh no, he doesn't say that precisely though. Well, maybe on this though. I'm gonna try that. And just, well, I, I don't have anything, but keep trying. If anyone, if Wada is here, and I don't know, if anyone who played the game here feels like giving me, I don't know, maybe a clue? Helping me out just a bit? Not letting me know everything, but just like pointing me in the right direction. In the general right direction. That could be nice. OBJECTION! Oh shit! Do you know what this is, Agent Lang? <laughs> it's a long spear, right? Oh, also, yeah, my, uh, my time was about was supposed to be over seven minutes ago. Uh, I think it's compensation because I started early today, and, and some people might have missed uh, the beginning of the stream. So it's compensation. I think it'll go for another twenty minutes. Uh, to like uh, the, the for me, it's ten thirty. I think for like the U.S. people, it's uh, on East Coast. It should be like. Uh, around 3.30 or 4.30. Anyhow, you get what I'm saying. And I think then I'll stop, because I'm getting a bit uh, tired here. Don't know why, though. It's a long spear, right? We used to use those in a, lo a lot in my country a long time ago. Piercing, mowing people down. Spears are the weapon of heroes throughout history. It's the next most effective weapon after the VIP. Well, we'll see. It's 3.08 right now, so at 3.30 I meant. Anyhow, we'll see. If at, if in, at 30 I'll still feel okay, uh, maybe I'll keep going. But for now I'm going for another uh, 22 minutes. It's the, next mo it's the next most effective weapon after the VIP. I think the whip is in a slightly different category. So, what's your point? Are you going to tell me that the spear is the real weapon? No. I simply want you to take a look at this section here. The way it's bent. Precisely. Apparently, a certain troublemaker hit it ag against a wall in this embassy earlier. And as you can clearly see, the insides of the Steel Samurai's weapons are hollow. Oh, so it's... So the sword is hollow. So why was he saying it's heavy? I thought peop they would have checked that. I just, like, took that for... For a fact. That... Okay, that was kind of misleading. In other words, the replicas aren't strong enough to deliver a damaging blow. Let alone the multiple strikes necessary to bludgeon someone to death. And yet, there's not even a dent in the samurai sword. How do you explain that? Ugh! Yeah! 
Oh, yeah. The sword and the spear are made of the same stuff, so they bend easily. Why didn't anyone say so earlier? But I wish they'd make them out of better stuff, because the spear got bent. I wasn't able to do my special early summer rain jab move. Man, I got such an early and earful from the director for the play for not of the play for not doing it in the show. The Steel Samurai special move was changed tonight because of him. Okay, I guess that's important. No! That's more than enough of your viny whimpering. Now, back on the topic of the spear. Yes, let's return to the real topic of discussion. This is where the real gamble begins. I don't have a real strategy, strategy, strategy per se. So all I can do for now is let my, the chips fall where they may. Using guesswork and taking risks in place of real logic is hardly the one karma way. It's neither smart, no, very clever. Miss Von Karma, as you know, and like your father, I'm not a genius prosecutor. Plus, I doubt his record of a 40-year win streak will ever be broken. But perhaps, it is for the best if it remains unbroken. For no one should have conceived of the notion to convict all defendants in the first place. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! That's a foolishly foolish statement from a foolish fool who hates to lose. It's the job of a prosecutor to make sure that all defendants are found guilty in court. So there is nothing more important in this world than a perfect victory. Hold it! Hold it. That may be your opinion. However, I don't believe that's all we are. As a prosecutor, what I pursue is not the perfect victory, but the perfect truth. And if that means the bridge I must cross will crumble beneath, beneath my feet, then let it crumble as I walk on towards the truth. Not so fast. You're good at keeping me entertained, Mr. Prosecutor. But you know, humans are delicate creatures. The slightest bump, and we expire. I'd like you to consider, if you will, the possibility that the sword was used in such a way that the attack killed the Mask the Second without bending it. So what do you think of my hypothetical scenario? I think you know what to do here, right? And what you need. Of course. What I need is evidence, even to Agent Long can't refute. This is it. It's time to bring this to a close. Here we go. Part 2. It's possible to use the samurai sword to kill someone. And under these circumstances, it's the only logical conclusion. We search the embassy, top to bottom, but the victim's blood is only on that weapon. So isn't it only natural that suspicion would fall to the owner of said weapon? That's it? How long do you intend to cling onto that preposterous theory? As long as I want, because we examined every corner within the walls of this embassy. There's no stone we've left unturned. Oh, really? And we have managed to come up with the only one logical conclusion. That the only place inside this embassy with the victim's blood on it is this sword. Hold it! Hold it! We left no stone unturned. Is that a fact? Not so fast. Not so fast. If you've got something to say, then say it in... Th then say it in the only way I respect, Mr. Prosecutor. Yes, of course. In that case, allow me to make it all crystal clear for you. Rebuttal. Okay, press. I think it might be this one. In song. <laughs> oh, I wish, Scribble. 
Uh, I think I think it's the second or so statement, but let's see. Hold it! May I inquire as to how are you able to make such a claim, Agent Lang? Lang Z, Lang Z says, capable of capable of miracles beyond comprehension, a mysterious creature is man. Rather than man, it's Agent Lang's quotes that are getting increasingly incomprehensible. The human body is a mysterious thing. Even with a toy-like sword, it's easy to kill a man if you hit just the right spot. Which is why I think it's possible to kill with this thing without leaving a dent. Hold it! Hold it. But we can only be sure one way or the other by seeing if the wound matches the sword. I know that, but as long as it's a possibility, I can proclaim it as much as I'd like. Okay, circumstances are the only... No, I want to I wanna see the part where he said that they looked everywhere. I think that's part of the testimony. Hold it. Hold it! But you must know that your conclusion is wrong. Given the circumstances I'm in, the only people I can trust are my subordinates. Because they're much more trustworthy, a much more trust trustworthy bunch than you prosecutors will ever be. Hold it! Hold it! And you call yourself a professional? Not so, Not so fast. You still don't see, do you, Mr. Prosecutor? You have to earn my trust. And the only way to do that is to show me proof of another possible murder weapon. Another possible weapon? In this room, there's only one thing left. There we go, this is what I was looking for. This is going to be a gamble, but I can't withdraw from the gamble from the game now. You're not going to get me to trust you by the power of your glare alone, you know. Plus, I have other reasons as to why I think the samurai sword is the murder weapon. There we go, we searched the embassy, that's what I was looking for. Hold it! Hold it! The only place where you could find blood was on the samurai sword. That's right. Even with Luminol. Which means that there are no other possibilities outside of what I've outlined. Do I have a problem with Agent Lang's assertion that the samurai sword is a weapon? Yep. I sure do. If you believe that there is no other door of possibility left to open, then allow me to force one open for you. Not so fast! <laughs> and how do you plan to do that? By showing you what may possibly be the real murder weapon. Not so fast! Ha! <laughs> the real murder weapon? I hate to repeat myself. That is a possibility that I haven't thought of, Meatwagon. Maybe it wasn't uh, killed there. Because there's also no blood on the floor, I think. Right? I should have a photo of the body, maybe? Oh no, actually I don't. We'll see. But my men have already searched every last inch of this embassy. And they've concluded that nothing else could have been used as the weapon. Maybe there was a real ninja. Well, we know of at least one uh, fake great thief that was around here. It definitely could have been him. Or her. Knowing these facts, do you still want to press forward with your little hypothesis? Of course. Because it's not possible that your men inspected everything in their investigation. Not so fast! What are you talking about? I don't appreciate my games, and I don't appreciate it when people like you slander my men. Hold it! Hold it. All this holding and not so fasting. I'm not slandering them, I assure you. I'm merely pointing out that their investigative dragnet has a few holes in it. Namely, that there is something your men couldn't even lay a finger on. And that item is the real murder weapon. All right then, I'll play along for now. This real weapon that killed Damask the second. What exactly is it? The real murder weapon, which not a single person has yet to touch, is this. Take 
that? The national treasure of Olibost. Hold it. You mean the Primaduck statue? Yes. And as you know, only the ambassador and his secretariat may touch it. Which, I believe, means that neither you nor your men were able to examine it. Correct? Not so fast! Ha! Ha 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 You know very well that if we did that, there'd be an international incident. Between the Kingdom of Alabast and the Republic of Babal. The two countries' precious relationship teeters in the balance. Over a stupid fight related to a sovereign, a sovereignty statue. But I'll be damned if I let something go unexamined. Hold it! Hold it. Agent Lang, if you could take a look at this. The direction the statue is facing just before and after the crimes are different. And there is only one conclusion I can draw from that. Go look for Ambassador Alba and get him, and get him to give us the okay to examine the statue. Shifu, you can't listen to inf to this infidel's words. He is most definitely trying to trick you. Shifu, please let's be rational about this. Grrr. Lang Z says, just go already. Yes, sir. Shifu, yeah. I'm really sorry, sir, but I was unable to convince the ambassador. I was unable to obtain permission for us to examine the Primaduck statue. Alajian. <laughs> Burn the whole embassy. Well, scribble the other embassy. The. The Babalese embassy. Uh, was Has already been burned down, actually. So maybe the. The, the murderer here is uh, actually one step ahead of you. To get the real killer for sure. I see. Wait. But then, the investigation is at a standstill. Agent Lang, I will go and speak with the ambassador personally. Save your breath. He may act all weak and frail, but that old man's one tough cookie. But I guess you've got to be tough when you're representing a whole country, you know? Agent Lang. What do you want? Let's just hurry up and examine the statue already. What? But Chifu, what about causing an international incident? Quiet. I'll take the fall if I'll have to later. Hold it. Agent Lang, the hypothesis is mine. So if someone is to take the responsibility, let it be me. Responsibility? If you're going to talk in such heavy terms, maybe I should let you. It'd be a real problem for my men if something were to happen to me. Alright then, less talk and more investigating. If I want to know the truth, we can't stop here. Action must be taken. Agent Lang, I'd like to run a luminal chemiluminescence test on the statue. A luminal test? Ah, good thinking. If the statue is the murder weapon, then some of the victim's blood should be on it. Okay, let's get the forensics team in here. <laughs> Looks like you hit the jackpot, Mr. Prosecutor. I guess this means that this is the real weapon that killed Damask the Second. Indeed. But I wouldn't celebrate yet if I were you. This doesn't let your friend off, off the hook. It doesn't prove that he didn't kill Damask the Second. The, the, so the charge remains. We are hardly done examining the statue, Agent Lang. Knowing that it is the real weapon, I believe further examination is required. Ha! You think so? Okay then, knock yourself out. Okay, let's go. Let's look at the bottom first. 
<gasps> there we go! It's covered in ink too. That that works with uh, a bunch of other stuff we got. Uh. And what do we have here? This dirty smudge. It looks like a handprint. <laughs> <laughs> what a definitive piece of evidence like you doing under here! Looks like we've got some fingerprints to analyze. <laughs> exactly, Dolan. You you got it absolutely right. Cummies for my steel dad steel steel samurai daddy daddies. Or whatever, however that um, copy tech, um, copy pass that works. Ugh. Worst case scenario, these prints belong to Larry, even though there's no way he touched that. And also, he had gloves on, so it can't be his. Unless there are no fingerprints, then it might. It looks like it's too late for me to do anything about that now. This is a good thing, Edgy. We're gonna prove his innocence with this. Hey, forensics guy! I want results of these fingerprints ASAP! Do you hear me? Well, Agent Lang, I have the analysis results, sir. Good. And? Well, sir, uh, about the prints we lifted from the bottom of the statue. Well, um, you know the victim of the murder in the Babylonese embassy? Oh, shit. Oh, the prints belong to him, uh, to Mr. Manny Cochin, sir. But that's... Oh shit, the plot thickens. W what's going on around here? No, that's impossible. Each primitive statue can only be handled by someone of that country. But by the very fact that Mr. Cochin's fingerprints are on this one, it leads me to only one conclusion. This statue is actually Babal's Primaduck statue. Impossible. It can't be. Uh, I yeah. Larry never once set foot on Babali's soil, so he was free to go. However, this new piece of information only served to confuse us even further. The ringleader of a smuggling operation was killed with an alabastian knife in Babal. And Damask II was killed on alabastian soil with Babal's international treasure. And the mystery of the great thief Yadagarasu, who visited both countries. The pieces were there, but I had yet to see the big picture they were to form. To be continued. And... The best part, I think, to uh, to stop this case right here. I'm going to save. I'm not going to continue. Uh, I did an extra long stream today because I fucked up and started uh, early. Uh, I promise that I'll be sure next time to do it at the right time, which should be the same as today. But it's not going to be tomorrow. I'm t I'm, uh, I got three days where I need to handle some shit. So next stream is only going to be on Saturday. Uh, so I hope to see all of you guys there. Oh, by the way, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Of course, I had a great time with you guys. Really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the same. Hope to see all of you guys on Saturday as well. If there will be a change in the time because of uh, bus times or anything like that, because bus time, you know, Saturday, uh, Israel, stuff like that, buses start late. It's a bit of a problem. If there will be a change, I'll be sure to update it uh, everywhere possible, which is where you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, uh, YouTube and Steam, uh, where you can get notifications on changes in schedule and also watch my past broadcasts. And of course, there's a poll that Wada posted right there. Uh, you can choose what game we're going to play next. We're almost done with this game. We're pretty close to the end. So you guys can choose what game we're going to play next. And there has been a whole bunch of new additions to the poll. So feel free to do that. And if you haven't voted this week, then do that because you can revote every week. And. But Gary Johnson, huge mistake. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, Dolan. Uh, anyhow, so I think that's all I got to say for today. Thanks again, as usual, guys. Again, I had a great time. Hope to see all of you guys on Saturday. So, Marco.